This is Alok. Welcome to Cyber Security Club. Uh, in last video, we see like uh, how to uh, add the rule and how to install the policy on checkpoint firewall. Now need to validate and troubleshoot if something went wrong. Okay. So before starting, I'll say if you don't, uh, if you didn't see that we last video, then go and watch it. And then you will try to understand like what scenario we have uh, explained this thing and what we are creating here. Okay, so let me show you diagram here. So we are having a firewall here with the 10.0.0.1 and this is the IP address. And external IP address is uh, 121.241.105.1 and we are having external PC and it has IP6 uh, but in lab I have written 100 so make it correction here so now it has IP like 121.241.105.100 okay so this IP we assigned to external PC and uh, we'll modify that and then we will verify the policy is working properly or not. So this is IP address. Let's uh, see configuration part. Go here. Okay. So need to go to the external client machine and need to check the IP address. Okay. So double click here. Go here. Uh, 100 so this is a wrong IP address because external we are expecting 121.241.105.100 and it has a gateway external IP address I am giving 121.241.105.1 okay we don't have DNS and DSCP uh, for now we are using um, blank here and we are not using DHCP. Press OK. We have assigned manual IP address here. And also need to uh, enable RDP and we need to disable firewall, system firewall here. Okay. So, firewall.cpl you can run to open this wizard and then press off and then okay so now we have assigned ip address uh, disabled that one disabled the firewall system firewall and now we are going to uh, enable rdp on this system okay so we are going to allow apply then okay so now uh, let's go here we have installed this policy and we are having this IP address. So now open Smart View Tracker to see the uh, traffic. Okay. So a Smart View Tracker. Before that, uh, I need to show you Gaia portal because in Gaia you will understand like what uh, IP address we have defined here for external interface. So Gaia is 121.241.105.1. So see the diagram 105.1 and then you need to verify IP address for external client. So here you go, open CMD and IP config. So IP is 121.241.105.100 and gateway is this one. So correct. So already, so you see this interface is up, this two internal and external, we have enabled this thing from Gaia. So uh, let's just, so uh, just a minute. So uh, let me open tracker so that we see the log. Sorry, uh, we are on which system? We are on. Okay. Put all program file here. 
tracker. So pen tracker so that you will see the log over this. Put the same password whatever it is given for management because we are going to access management only. So here you will see the log, whatever it is coming here over the firewall. And if it is passing through here, you will see it from here itself. Okay. Okay. So let's start. Need to have RDP from inside to outside. But before that, we need to check the access list. So for uh, here, you see there is a client, this client trying to access 100 IP and given this one okay so where we have defined rdp rdp here so if you see we have given access to that user okay and see like uh, this is a remote user we have given access here okay need to enable log so that you will see all logs we will install the policy version so let's verify this connection Okay. So in last video we have installed this uh, policy on gateway. Okay. So this is system. We are going to take RDP. MSTSC you open and uh, you add this IP address 121.241.105.100. It was there. And then you need to have a proper username password for this computer, external computer. You see like you are able to take access, right? So we are able to take access from our uh, inside to outside. So now it is asking for username password. We don't have username password. We need to define there for this PC. Then we will try to access external. So this is sitting in external. Uh, and then we are trying to access this one. Need to have a username and password. So definitely we need to set a username password for this computer and then uh, we will try to access the that because RDP required username and password credential to access this thing. Okay, but uh, let me show you logs. So we were trying to access that one and you go here and tracker. Okay, so latest log you see here don't add filter remove all section and then which source uh, source ip you need to select it from here so it was this client add it to see his log only yeah so now you see like uh, this user is hitting https to the gateway but I need to see the destination, like uh, need to define destination here. So destination was outside uh, uh, 121.241.105.100. So you see RDP host here, then OK. So you will be able to see here connection, like he is able to access RDP. Okay, so log is here. You can double click and see all details. Like he was hitting this firewall. Source host is 10.0.0.99 and destination host is uh, this outside IP address. And he was trying to access RDP. Okay, and this connection was accept over that five number rule. If you see here, rule number five is hitting for RDP okay so here you see TCP connection it is and he was hitting RDP remote desktop protocol services so we have enabled for this one rule number five so you go and see what is the rule number five uh, so it's a passing through rule number five so this is a rule number five so if you refresh uh, this one 
you will able to see hit count as well. It will come later. Uh, if it uh, if you are hitting regularly, then you will be seeing hits. In Cisco, like hit count, we were seeing right. So uh, in here also, you will see the hits. Okay. So hit will be generating, and if it comes, like let me uh, tell you how it happens. If zero hit, then it will show you blank zero hit. Okay. Uh, hit count will be zero. If low, then you will be getting some hit over this ACL. Okay. And then uh, high means uh, high and medium. And this thing is like if it is uh, overloaded, then it will give the high, very high, then high, then medium. It depends on your connection, like how it is going through your firewall. Okay. So, so this is thing uh, we can troubleshoot. Also, we can take putty from here and we will take SSH. Let me install SSH. I think we don't have SSH putty here to take SSH. No have. No have. So let me install putty so that we can access this firewall through the SSH and we will use command. So let me. I am installing putty on this system.
I have downloaded this putty on this system and I'm installing this. I placed on MSI file and then I'm installing this one. So it will take some time. So now it is installed. Just press finish. Close this one and try to access firewall from this this system okay so we are taking remotely uh, cmd so for taking a command prompt we need use putty and we have allowed port uh, 22 over the firewall you need you see that in that section when we were creating policy so let me add ip address of firewall here and i'll try to connect this one uh, accept agreement and then use your username and valid password so my user is admin and then they need to put a password so we are in we can see like uh, this system this system is sitting somewhere else let's say it is in different country and we are in India and we are trying to access that firewall. So we will use put T and we need to allow firewall rule. I said like in last video, like why we make uh, this access uh, policy. So we have uh, created one policy for management as well. And now we are trying to, uh, we, we are accessing uh, put T. I mean, we are accessing firewall over the, uh, I mean, SSH. Okay. So we are having this access and uh, I, I was showing like uh, to uh, see the connection table i use command like fw then tab hyphen t connection connections minus f you can use this command you can enlarge this press ok and you will be able to see the all connection okay so here is a connection table and let's say you you want to troubleshoot the issue okay so so now we need to do troubleshooting then we need to go on expert mode so before going ex first time we are going on expert mode so we need to uh, uh, add a password for expert we need to set a password so it's saying like expert password has not been uh, defined so we need to define expert uh, mode password so to use command first time if you are using then use set expert and then press tab and press enter uh, sorry uh, need to put a password okay so uh, password I am giving like uh, sorry. sorry 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 are you wrong password and then press ok it's saying ok so we don't have a, a right to uh, right access because I was taking access from gear so need to run this command first to take uh, override access okay so now enter so now you will have access right access okay read and write access so now we will run the same command set the password and then uh, verify the password So password is set for expert and it is enabled now. By default, it is disabled. So after putting that expert and then you need to put the same password which you have configured. Okay. So you are in expert mode now. Let's say I, I, I got one call for troubleshooting ACL issue and someone is saying like my ACL is not working. So we jump in troubleshooting call and we filter out first we need monitor, right? So in monitor, we try to access uh, this system from this one. So we are getting 
log from here like this is allowed okay this uh, rule is allowed under 5 okay and we are seeing this green otherwise it will be red so let's see uh, well, let's do more troubleshooting we use tcp command connection table or we will see we'll use uh, tcp dump IP is 10.0.0.0.99 .0 .0 .0 .0 or 99 I think let me see so it's 100 uh, 99 10.99 10.99 is the host you can define the host here and a command you can use and then you use host for destination to see all details sorry 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. control C So uh, 100 and also you can define the port, port is RDP 3389, okay. So this TCP is on, okay, TCP dump is on, if uh, he will able to uh, make a connection from here, he will be able to make a connection, let's you try for rdp from this machine and then you will be seeing live log live tcp log from here see so uh, i said like tcp does the three-way handshake and uh, from next class i'll uh, i have already shown i think uh, this tcp session i have taken in uh, previous video so if you didn't see then go and see that and then you will able to understand like we are seeing connection see regularly we are getting seen see neck and neck and then push okay so we are getting this uh, packet from this one because we are accessing rdp and let me terminate the connection so a reset packet you will get once you done with the connection see uh, I'll I'll tell you in uh, next class like uh, how TCP work, but uh, let me define here. I mean, let me tell you like how it works. It does three-way handshake before making any connection, new connection. So what happened? Like uh, uh, in this uh, session, you understand. So he is able to make RDP connection in our lab. Okay. So RDP works on port three three eight nine. It's a TCP, right? TCP port. <coughs> the reliable port so it does three way handshake before making any connection so first connection will be syn synchronization of service he will hit the server with rdp he used that one uh, msdsc and put this ip address it, hitting syn packet so request will go to this computer and this computer will see that request if it is listening on port 3389 means port is enabled listening means port is enabled on this machine uh, then he will reply with sin plus acknowledgement and then finally uh, this uh, system will receive CNAC and then he will revert with acknowledgement packet and then connection will establish once connection established data data whatever content he is getting over the rdp will be seeing in this his laptop or uh, computer okay and you will see in tcp connection push packet push packet means he is sending data so if you see here you will see p uh, sorry uh, we were here we were taking remotely p p means pushing the data okay pushing data from destination to source and after finishing so once it is done you will send the fin packet and it was uh, like uh, forcibly terminated then you will get the reset packet Reset packet you will get if in, in, in initial phase, it means, let me just tell you. So reset means uh, either it's uh, deliberately terminated the connection, then it will come reset packet at last. If you are getting regularly reset packet means this RDP is not enabled to destination server. This service is not listening on port 3389. So he will be getting a 
uh, reset packet. Okay, so this way TCP work. Okay, so in this lab we understand like how TCP connection work over the firewall, how to take remotely put. I mean how to take put the SSH, how to make a rule, how to troubleshoot for this issue. Let's say you are getting some issue, then you will be able to see from tracker like this is IP and trying to access this external IP with RDP port. Okay, so here you see RDP access is doing. So you will be able to see this thing. Okay, you will troubleshoot, and then if it is not happening, I mean error is there, then you need to do TCP dump. You can do. Uh, F W and debug also you can do jet debug you can use it here to get get a uh, route level information or you can do uh, firewall monitor jet debug and firewall monitor I'll tell you in different uh, uh, session and also I'll cover TCP session in a different lab okay so I hope you understand like how of traffic flow happens and how we create a rule on the checkpoint firewall and you will easily make this rule and you will able to understand okay. so this way you can set up a lab if you have any query any question you can put it in, in comment section and if you have any query also drop me an email on uh, alok.patak at the rate hotmail.com i'll reply you back with all solution thank you for watching this channel keep on watching will come uh, most of thing and then I'll explain each and everything for this firewall. Thank you for watching.